Hello and welcome to another special video review and tonight we've got the IV Me Toys Cute Protector Commander. Cute, yeah. <laughs> yeah. IV Me, uh, a new company, but I have my doubt that it uh, doubts that it's a sister company to Wei Yang. Because uh, on the website when this figure was announced, it says the, that this was their second figure. But IV Me is the first time we hear about it. So I uh, searched a little bit and found out that the first figure was the uh, Shibi Squeaks. Like this one. The one I, I reviewed a couple of uh, weeks ago? Months? I don't know. But uh, yeah, Squeaks. A really cool, really good figure that I really like. And yeah, uh, this is the same makers. So I really love that one. So this one... I had to get my hands on. Also, uh, just a quick heads up, there's a redeco coming up of this one. Uh, more of a translucent one. I'm not not a big fan of translucent figure, but yeah, just say. So, cute protector commander. Comes in a huge box, really heavy. We got, first up, it comes in a bag. So we remove the bag, got the big box. Just a nice bag, nothing really to it besides having the uh, face of Megatron from the last night movie and yeah cool it's a really nice bag though <laughs> let's put it aside so we have this box just black with the cute protector commander vmo2 model series metal so yeah this is the second release the first one was squeak just uh, as I mentioned but the box is just, just plain black we've got legal stuff right here nothing major about it on top not much to it either and for opening up the box it's uh, using magnets so you just open it up like this first up we have the instructions now the, ins the transformation for this is insane like the engineering that goes into it is insane I never saw any I never seen any uh, transformation the likes of this but it's really fun the first time you transform it it's scary as hell but I, I, kinda, I transformed it a couple of times and uh, now I'm quite uh, happy with it and the transformation I really love. So we have the instructions in a small booklet. We have the figure right here, how it looks. And we have the steps, which are both in Chinese and English. So you can, you know, open the whole leg backward and straighten it. It's okay. <laughs> there is a couple of steps, especially for the arms. There's like two pages for the arms. Like this one too and this one too, but it's not that complicated. So it's just how you twist them all. So I'll show this later. But yeah, lots of steps. Like 47 steps, Commander. And we even have the QR code if you want to see the video from the original site for a transformation, like a deformation steps. So you have the QR code, you can scan this and it will take you to a video that shows how to transform the figure. Because yeah, like I said, the figure is very impressive and the transformation is really something. So first up, we remove the panel and we have the figure right here. You can remove this also, which reveals some more items. So we have a base, some accessories, sword, a club and the figure itself. Now let's open this. This is why why I was thinking about uh, Wei Yang's uh, squeak. They have the same base, same build quality. This is like one big full chunk. It's not empty. You could smack someone with the head over this and kill them. So, <laughs> so yeah, really nice details. We have some metal parts right here. Same thing here. Really nice looking. You have a indent right here for this piece right here. This sort of look like a cannon. So you have cannon right here. Really cool looking. Not sure what it represents besides the cannon. Uh, probably the movie, but then again, I've been I haven't seen the movie in a while, so really cool looking. Nice detail. The paint is just stellar. And for uh, the base you just put it here it doesn't snap it's not super solid it just oops it just sits in the grooves like this so that's cool put this aside we have his weapons we have a club and his sword that is super hard to remove 
Come on. Ah. All right. Oh, we have the sword and the club. Sword is a really nice, really nicely painted. We'll focus. We have gunmetal gray with some bronze. And yeah, it's really amazing. And we have a club. Again, same thing, bronze with nicely details on him. Very cool. And finally, we have the figure. And yeah, the whole uh, box is super tight. So, step. You can stand. All right, so let's move this and throw this away. And move the camera a little bit more down so we can see the figure. We have the accessories and we have Megatron. Now, Megatron is in a Shibi style robot and he looks so damn good there's so many details on him amazing figure just the head itself has the mouth that moves nice details the eyes are painted teeth are all detail everything is just amazing we have the red paint here uh, some more on the helmet also we have the shield everything is so detailed even the back figure itself is just amazing now we do have our articulation the head is uh, on the rotation joint can move up down left right you also have a joint where you can move the head up like this or more crouched up I prefer to eat crouch up look the mouth opens and closed like I mentioned arms are on ball joints so you can move but yeah the head sort of hinders on the shoulder so if you move this you can move the arm straighten up it's on a ball joint so it can move we have elbow joints so about less than 90 degrees we have the shield that also can move but uh, this is more for transformation on the other side the same arm but we have the cannon right here it's really cute the little cannon really similar to the original ones we also have rotation of the arm on both sides uh, we don't have waist rotation though we do have the skirts that move up and we do have the legs that can kick up go back uh, back is sort of hindered a little bit but if you move it a little bit side like this you can go back we do have a knee bend a little less than 90 degree we also have a rotation at the knee at the upper knee we have the uh, uh, tilt at the ankle we also have a ball joint at the foot so it can rotate so yeah we have lots of articulation for this figure it's not perfect it's injured by a lot of stuff but the figure itself amazing I am in love with this figure now I'm not a huge fan of Shibi but I do have my own uh, we can give him the uh, club hand voila he holds it we can give him his sword also it's super tight but yeah we have his weapon now you can put him on the stand so yeah really cool I can compare him with other Shibi figures so I have my hero toys uh, Optimus Prime yeah, Magnus <laughs> Ultra Magnus I have the TFC uh, Optimus Prime so pretty cool I think if we remove these 10 he's uh, okay it's a little bit bigger than uh, Optimus Prime so uh, another shibi figure I have is the squeak so the squeak is uh, the first release for uh, the company uh, IV me if I me V me I don't know but yeah this is the first release this is their second and it's stellar uh, what else uh, can compare him with under? I got a couple more. I can show not much, but let's move these. Sorry, first we've got the Voyager figure of the Megatron from the Last Night movie. Quite different, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have the, the leader class. I only have the Voyager because I didn't like really the Voyager, the leader class, but the Voyager was really good for me. So. Yeah, and I also have 
For the fun of it, I have the uh, legend size Megatron from last night. Ooh, something dropped. What drop? Uh, nothing important. So yeah, we have the legend, the uh, the Voyager, and the Shibi. Now the Shibi is all chromed up. Really nice looking, amazing figure. So uh, yeah, maybe you can do uh, transformation. Like I said, transformation is insane, but. It's really good, really solid. First off, remove the club and sword out of his uh, hands. Now, there's a secret mode with this figure. And <laughs> it's not official. It's just funny for me. But uh, yeah, first up, you need to take the side panel of the head and move them on the side. Like this. And this will pop out. Just... Yeah, it just popped out. It's not supposed to. Uh, I haven't popped it out in any transformation, but of course now that I'm ca on camera, it has to. But yeah, if you leave it like this, it looks like a gremlin. You know the movie Gremlin from the 80s? I love that movie, but this is like a Cybertronian <laughs> gremlin. You know, with the one, the, the, the chief one with the, the mohawk. It looks like it. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you can... Move the ears as you want, but <laughs> this is a gremlin, like a Cybertronian gremlin. And even the face looks like it. It's amazing. I am in love with this. <laughs> anyway, uh, take the ears. Flat, oh, you open these flaps. Take this uh, uh, head press and move it in the back like this. Take these op and lift them up a little bit. And this is stuff nightmares I made from, you know. You just pull the head out like this is scary as hell. But wait, <laughs> you want scary? Ah, the eyes. You need to pop the eyes out. <laughs> it's even scarier. <laughs> but then you need to also split the head open like this. Just move these separately. Like ah, this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. But uh, yeah, you need to move these forward a little bit so the head is all broken up. The eyes need to be popped out like this. Now come to the waist, lift the skirt up, lift this up, and this will uh, detach the crotch plate. So the, the, the crotch like this. Bring the, uh, the legs together. Flip the feet down like this. And uh, flip the foot like this, just the toes, and flip them out like this. Bring the skirt down and leave it like this. Oh, wait, uh, no, leave the skirt straight up and leave, and um, bring the leg straight up like so. Bring the feet straight and leave it like that for now. Next up, you want to pull the back right here and just yeah flip it open like this uh, next up let's work on the arms arms are the most painful part of the transformation to me so first up just flip the whole well uh, bring the arms down a little bit on this joint and rotate the torso on the other side like this bring the arms down you can see the arms are on this joint right here. These joints need to be straightened up and enclosed in here, in the chest. Well, yeah, in the chest, inside of the chest. Just do the uh, the arm with the cannon first. Straighten up the arm so that the panel right here, the elbow panel, uh, goes straight to you. Face up. Bring the cannon, flip it on the other side so the cannon shoots in the back. And rotate the arm all the way around from underneath like this and now you have to plug the well not plug just rest the cannon inside of this groove right here like sort of tunnel you need to put it in like this rotate the arm like this so that the fist is straightened like this now the other arm same thing bring it in make sure that this goes in the uh, chest part Come to the shield. The shield you can see here, it's on a double joint. So you need to flip the joint in like this and rotate the shield 
like this and bring this now you can see there's two pegs on the shield one peg in the hand and as you rotate the uh, arm just the arm not the the whole thing here you need to plug the other hand inside of the other uh, part of the shield so this is a little bit touchy but yeah you can hear snapping it voila now you come to the front and you can see sort of puzzle piece right here that you need to align with the gun so now it's plugged in perfectly and that's how the arms are done now you have the front of the jet all done like I said this is the hardest part of the transformation so yeah bring the legs down leave the legs underneath the cockpit like this and come to the mouth the mouth right here with the mouth that opens and closes, you need to rotate the mouth only so that the sort of engine looking thing comes to the front with the eyes still on top straighten up this backpack the, the back of the head really and as you can see uh, these will flip up and as you flip them up you can see this uh, the wing follows so bring the wings like this so bring this up like this take the eyes and as you uh, can see here in the top of the there's sort of a groove right here it's really hard to see but this part will snap inside like this so same thing here snaps in voila like this just that part next up we want to take this back of the head rotate it all the way around like this so that the reactors are facing up flip this down now you want to put your finger in here and flip this panel out and flip it all the way in like this and snap it in in between now you bring this all thing down and as you bring it down you can see there's pegs right here that needs to uh, connect in so you just snap this in and this is how you know the back is in it is perfectly in now you have this sort of long peg right here that will snap inside of the hole right here and also will the, the bendy part will go inside here so flip this in and peg it in like this next up bring the wings like this and you can see so the, the details and the, 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 the Cybertronian writings goes on top and this peg right here will snap inside of that hole here like this same thing on the other side so bring this in and snap this in now bring this uh, sort of circle thing inside these grooves so flip this in voila flip this in and voila so just straighten up the wings everything is looking good uh, next up bring take these panels right here and flip them to the center now you need to connect them so you need to wiggle around this will fill in the whoops <laughs> so it's only a tab so it's really easy to plug back in so you really just have to wiggle these like this so the these plugs in perfectly all right legs now you need to bring the chest like this you can see in the back there's two tiny pegs on each side these will plug on top of the chest there's two holes so you need to bring this down like this and bring it over and now you need to snap the chest in voila like this it snaps in perfectly finally uh, bring the legs uh, like this the legs needs to pass like this on each side of the uh, crest so the legs needs to be in those canals you may want to flip this open so the legs goes like this and now on the back of uh, underneath the feet you have this hole and this hole which will plug in those tabs so bring the uh, that one first you'll see why in a moment so this plugs in like this and as you plug the other one in you will see it will also overlap the other leg 
and plug everything in perfectly. And voila, is it whole? Uh, something is blo blocking. And I think I got it. No, it just unpegged itself. Okay, I got it. So you can see the feet are sort of plugging into each other right here on between. Next up, you can open these up. Oh, this. All right, the crotch piece it had to was uh, not plugged, but you have to plug it inside the helmet right here. Now everything is more solid. Yeah. Anyway, the skirt, you need to lift them up. Now first, you need to take the sword and uh, place it underneath. So this is the top and this is underneath. Underneath has like two small holes in here. Need to be on top, so you need to plug it in here. Like this. And the feet are sort of uh, connecting inside of the grooves of the sword. And you can close the... Oops. Yep, just unplug it. So, go it down. And as you close the skirt, you can see there are some tiny pegs that will so, uh, uh, go inside of the sword. So we need to move it in. And just pull on those. Sort of. One. This one is really tight for some reason. And I got it. Alright. And the chest just unpegged itself. Alright, and finally you take the club. Now you can see there's um, sort of details right here on top. You have a plus, a hole, a plus, a hole. You have to take either one of the holes. And you can see also there's a uh, tab right here. The tab will go... Oops. Drop the sword. So the tab will go in here and the hole will, will go inside of that tiny peg. So bring it like this, peg it in, and peg it in. And I'm just going to replug the sword because it fell down. But technically we are done. Voila! We have Megatron in jet mode. Awesome vehicle. Even the jet mode is so good looking. It me I mean it really looks like the original one, like in the movie. Really detail, lots of details everywhere, motors and gears and whatever. You have the Cybertronian riding in here. Oh, you also have a landing gear right here. I'm gonna need a tool to pry it open, I think. But uh yeah, right here on the chest you can open this up. And voila, we have the landing gear. And the chest is unpegged itself again. Is it in? No. Nope. Alright, so we have the landing gear right here, so it just goes like this. And it's amazing, the vehicle mode looks so damn good. We have, this is one eye, so I love that the eye are, do, are now the front thrusters, I guess. But yeah, so many details, it's just amazing. I love this. It's like even the Voyager uh, figure in, and the leader figure of Asbro doesn't have a good looking jet as this. It's just really damn amazing. Just, I'm so speechless about it. <laughs> uh, one thing I need, well, two things. I noticed while playing with the figure and transforming. My finger gets dirty. I don't know, it's the paint details, or I don't know, but my fingers are dirty. Like, I don't want to show it off too much, but yeah, my fingers are all dirty. I'm not the only one, uh, I'm not the only one complaining about this. I saw uh, some posts about it online that people had their uh, hands dirty handling this figure. But, like, this is like the fourth, fifth time I transform it. And it's getting better. I don't. I don't have my finger as dirty as the first time as I it transformed it. Like it was scary. I was thinking all the paint was chipping off and whatever. 
the second thing I need to speak of opening up the box you will smell something bad the figure I don't know what which material it is I think it's inside the box and not the figure itself yeah the figure itself smells a little bit I think it's mostly the box but it smells so bad I n I don't even know what it smells it smells of a sort of like a burnt rubber thing I don't know it just smells so bad but uh yeah this is the figure looks awesome the, the, the jet mode is just so impressive and it's really solid nothing nothing shaky nothing loose it's just plain very solid amazing figure I am in love with this this is this is my contender of the best figure of 2020 <laughs> seriously this is just amazing I know it's not everybody's taste to have a shibi figure but this one is amazing just just, just the sheer amazing engineering that goes into it it's just mind-blowing like just a face that broke up in pieces like this one eye this is one eye this is the forehead this is the side of the helmet <sighs> this is the back of the helmet the f ah, just everything is so amazing about this I really am impressed so I can do just a quick comparison with like, uh, the, the other Megatron buddies I guess so here we have the uh, Voyager Megatron from uh, movie the last night the official one uh, yeah it was okay when it came out uh, I don't have the elite leader class I didn't really like it but yeah compared to it like this one was substantially bigger with uh, in robot mode but now it's and eh, not much well it's a little bit longer but thinner and this one is way bigger now and yeah, the, the other ones, the legend size that I have, <laughs> really small. Yeah, I I won't transform the other chibi one. They they, they really don't bother uh, for the uh, comparison because you know one's a truck, well two's a truck and one's a, a scooter. Won't compare to a spaceship. So <laughs> yeah, I really love this uh, figure. It's amazing. The transformation is just so so work of art <laughs> from from going to a chibi looking robot like a cartoony big head small body to a very accurate uh, jet mode uh, movie accurate jet mode it's just astonishing the, the amount of details everywhere Oops. and it's super solid there's nothing shaking at all super solid figure uh, it's really this is this goes in my top of 2020 so far that's that's for sure so yeah I don't have anything else to say it's just an amazing figure I highly recommend it even though I know that uh, chibi looking figures aren't for everyone but this one wow transformation is fun the figure itself looks good the jet mode is amazing the transformation is just so great so uh, it's scary at first but once you get it, I've transformed it several times. It's one of my favorite transformation I've handled so far. It's really great. So yeah, I do recommend it. So this is the uh, cute protector commander from EV Me. I am not sure how to pronounce it, but yeah, highly recommend it. Go and pick it up. It's amazing. So uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I enjoy your comment every day. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I see you next time.